Okay, this is going to be a series of 12 lessons on how I do all my designs. I try to keep them under two minutes, so let's just get started. Okay, so uh, let's just start with number one. Okay, so you can tell that I've already done this a little bit different than the sample. I sort of have this uh, casual, scratchy script, whatever, I don't know what to call it, informal lines, um, and I make it in an oval shape. If I try to make a perfect circle and a perfect, it always doesn't come out perfect. <laughs> it's really hard to make it perfect, so don't even try. Have some artistic flair in it by making it oval and scratchy lines. The script, of course, I'll just keep that as tight as I can. Um, when I'm working with all of these designs, I try to keep it a one by one square. Okay, I'm not going up to the edges. I'm definitely not going top to bottom. You would definitely want to keep all the paint off the collar, and that includes overspray. So keep it tight and compact. There's a couple good reasons for that. First, less paint. Second, less time spent trying to fill in color. Third, because you're giving, at least when you're working for airbrush events, this may not be true of all of you airbrush companies out there, when you're giving people a, uh, a wet shirt, um, the less area that's covering the shirt, the less likely they are to mess it up or um, when it folds up on itself, it's gonna stain, for example. It needs like 10 minutes to dry, depending on the environment. So, keep it compact. There's really no reason to go big. I know that, you know, especially in retail situations, those shirts, the airbrush shirts that are covered top to bottom, they look really cool. But generally, when you're looking at printed shirts of any kind, you're looking at the, the chest area. And when we put it up on the board, it goes literally from the, the seam to seam. We don't want to cover seam to seam. We only need to cover what's in front of the, the person, the chest. So we're talking like one by one area, okay? So, there we go, we got that. Now I'm gonna put the color. I'm gonna start with yellow, and that does make a difference. I think layering colors on top of yellow looks better than the opposite. It's a very slight difference, but it does matter. 